What's up guys? Welcome to the spooky Q&A! I know, I know, it's late. I tried to get it up before Halloween. How did I forget what Halloween's called? Oh my gosh. Working on it, okay? I'm a busy dude. I got things to do. People to see. People to do. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I asked you guys to send me your spooky questions so I could give you some spooky answers and that's what makes it a spooky Q&A. Also, I bought this like $2 fake web and it came with like these little spiders. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can see them, but very spooky. And also special guest Boo, of course. Always. How you going, Boo? I'm just going to answer the questions now. <laughs> Maya Harris says, have you gone trick-or-treating? And if you have, what's the funniest thing that's happened when you've gone? I went trick-or-treating once in my life, and I went with my sister Angelica. When she went up to the door to ask for the candy, uh, I didn't go up because I was too shy and afraid, and I was, I was a little shy boy. I was a shy boy on Halloween. Instead of saying trick or treat, Angelica just said, Can I please have some candy? And the dude's like, sorry, we don't we don't celebrate Halloween. We didn't actually get any any lollies. One house gave us like bananas. That was cool. We got bananas on Halloween. Thanks guys! What are you dressing up as for Halloween? If you aren't, what would you love to dress up as? I was hoping I could show you guys what I was planning on dressing up as uh, to get your opinions so you can tell me. If, if they're good outfits or not. Is that cool? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the outfits that I'm planning on wearing. A movie extra. A werewolf. During, during the day. Iron Man. Batman. Human. The Flash. Functional member of society. Ah, oh, um, I couldn't, couldn't pull that one off, actually. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on a sweater already, mom spaghetti, he's- How would you survive a supernatural apocalypse? Hayley Chandler, I wouldn't. I just, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't survive it. Flat out, I'd die. I'd be like, the first people in The Walking Dead who died. You didn't even see them because they died so early. That'd be me. <laughs> What's the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you? Okay, so, I'm not super superstitious, but I'm pretty sure a ghost dog has peed on me before. Alright, hear me out. Hear me out. Just give me a sec. Let me explain. So, like, I lived at this place, and there was a dog there, and then the dog died. It was very, very sad. And I really loved the dog. And then, one night, I thought I saw the dog. Like, I'm, I'm still pretty convinced I saw the dog. I don't know 100% if I believe in ghosts. 98%. I'm 98% sure I believe in ghosts, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, I saw the dog at like the corner of my eye while I was laying down. I wasn't asleep yet, I was still awake, I was just laying down, and then I felt like a warm patch on my leg where I saw the dog. <laughs> oh, this is so weird! I am convinced, I'm 100% convinced Ghost dog has peed on me. His name was Gizmo. We were good friends, good pals, and then he he died and peed on me. Thanks, Gizmo. Thanks, buddy. That is the weirdest question I've ever answered. <laughs> no, that's the weirdest answer I've ever given. Why are small dogs always the scariest, Nathaniel? I feel like anything that's not the normal size it should be is immediately scary. Super large dogs, terrifying. Super small dogs. Even more terrifying. It's just like the size thing. Like, think about your favorite thing and then make it either super massive or super tiny. Actually, if it's super tiny, it might end up really adorable or something. But depending on what it is, it could be it could be terrifying. Maybe it's just if something's massive, it's terrifying. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. <sighs> greatest fear? Are you sure you want to get into this? Are you sure you're ready to hear about my greatest fear? There's this is, this is a conversation. This is a, a big deal, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys my greatest fears. I'm gonna tell you guys the things I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of spiders, wasps, muggers, muggles? Donald Trump. Anything significantly larger or smaller than it should be. Bite-sized candies are terrifying. Bees. Bad parents. Wearing sunglasses. It's like going colorblind for a while. Think about it. Snakes. Caterpillars and butterflies. They're like freaking transformers. Come on, guys. Do you have wings or do you not? Pick one! Maybe I'm just jealous of, of caterpillars and butterflies, actually. Maybe I just want to fly. Bats! The dark! Bats in the dark! And there's so much more, but I'm not going to subject you guys to the entire list, because I could go on for, for years. Oh my goodness! What's your favorite scary movie? I'm actually a big fan of the 2007 Bratz movie. It's terrifying every time, every single time. How was Halloween sep- How's Halloween celebrated in your town? I've always wanted to know that because where I live, we don't celebrate it. We celebrate uh, Dia de Muertos 
first and second of November. I hope I said that right. Dia de Muertos is like Day of the Dead, I'm pretty sure, right? I always wanted to celebrate that when I was little just because I loved the whole like artistic thing with all the skulls and the patterns and stuff. In Australia, Halloween's not really celebrated by a lot of people, except for like emo teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Some adults like to celebrate it, but in Australia, a lot of people use the excuse Halloween's not Australian, Halloween's American. So a lot of people don't like to celebrate it here, which sucks! Who would you take a bullet for? If I have time to take a bullet for somebody, they have time to move. I'm not taking any bullets for anybody, okay? Have you ever seen slash do you like The Nightmare Before Christmas? Have I seen The Nightmare Before Christmas? Do I like The Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes. Yeah, Okay. I don't know why I didn't read this question out loud, but this person asked me what my favourite holiday is, so here it is. I am a fan of the 18th of October, which is Chocolate Cupcake Day. Or the 15th of October, which is Bridge Day. Or 12th of October, Pet Obesity Awareness Day. That one's a very, very serious issue. 16th of December, Chocolate Covered Everything Day. 3rd of March, 2016, What If Cats and Dogs Had Opposable Thumbs Day. Guys, this is the hard-hitting holidays here. This is the, these are the most important days. Although the one I relate to the most is the 16th of January, which is nothing day. 11th of January, step in a puddle and splash your friends day. So Halloween is not my favourite holiday because as you can see, there's so much more, more worthy holidays. Sorry boss, can't come into work today. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm splashing my friends. It's, it's splash your friends day. Step in a puddle and splash your friends day. Oh, okay. Alright, that's all good. I'll, I'll see you Monday, dude. Alright, see you. Yeah, yeah, love you, love you too. Spoopy or spooky? Spoopy, every time, baby. What's your favourite Halloween treat? Emma, I don't really have a favourite Halloween treat. I just like to eat. I just really like eating. I'm a big fan of eating. So if I can have a treat on Halloween, like, I can have it any other time. Not that Australia has any Halloween treats anyway. Freaking Aussies, mate. Bruh. Brass not Australian. What am, I, what am I talking about? If one could crawl through your window at night, would it be Demon Brennan Yuri, Bloody Gerard Way, Youngblood Chronicles Patrick Stump, or Jish Dunn Alien? Demon Brennan Yuri, I'm dead. Or having a disco. Ha! <laughs> Panic of the disco! Oh, I didn't even think of that! I was just thinking of the, the dancing Brennan Yuri thing. Bloody Gerard Way, I'd probably die from a heart attack if I saw that. Youngblood Chronicles Patrick Stump, he's probably gonna try and kill me with his hook hand. But just done Alien, I feel like we just like party. We just like get some pizza, sit down, watch some cool movies. You know, he'd be super friendly. I feel like he's the only one who wouldn't like try to kill me. Oh. Maybe Bloody Gerard wouldn't try to kill me, but it would definitely be a strange vibe in the room, you know what I mean? What are you looking forward to this Halloween, and what are you going to be freaked out about? Going to be freaked out about clowns, apparently. <laughs> but I am looking forward to eating way too much food. Oh, wait, that's, <laughs> that's every day. Oops, sorry. <laughs> How many ghosts fit in one room? A boolean? <laughs> <laughs> Re, this is my question and answer show. If you're gonna answer the questions that you ask, there's no point in me being here. Are you sleepy? Always. What's your all-time favorite band? Victoria, that's not even a Halloween question. There's nothing spooky about my favorite band. I'm a slut for Fallout Boy. Would you rather a vampire trap you in his lair forever or eat a whole patch of pumpkins? I mean, both are gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Unless I become a vampire, then I could, like, own the lair. I could kill the vampire and own the lair. That'd be so cool. Alright, I'd do that. I'd be trapped in a vampire lair, become a vampire, take his lair. Perfect. I'd be such a good businessman. How do I fight clowns? Again with the clowns. What's up with the clowns? What is Frankenstein plus mummy? An entirely necrophilic relationship. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you please cover the Ghostbusters theme song? Make it a better cover than the one Fallout Boy did. Ooh, shots fired! When there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Not Fallout Boy, apparently. What's the worst Halloween costume you've ever seen? Also, are you worried about clowns? Too many freaking clown questions! <laughs> Have you or would you ever play with a Ouija board? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much, Zen Hall, and I think I'm not super superstitious, but I am superstitious enough to not play with a Ouija board, just in just in case. I mean like I've seen the movies, I've heard the stories, I don't 
I don't want to be. I don't want to get into that. That's not my kind of deal. I don't want to. I don't want to be haunted. I don't want ghosts and demons and stuff following me. That's that's crazy. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> have you ever dressed up as a clown to scare people? No, I haven't. I have never dressed up as a clown to scare people. But apparently, other people would. <laughs> uh, you afraid of the clowns? What? Why is it all about the clowns? Every time. Have you ever toilet papered a house on Halloween for a prank or joke? And are you ever planning to do it? I've never done that before. I don't think I've met someone who's ever done that either. Maybe it's an Australian thing. I mean, not doing it. Like, not doing it is an Australian thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's an Australian thing to not do it. I mean, probably. It's... I'm a mess. <laughs> what was your earliest Halloween like that you can remember? I didn't dress up on the first time I wanted to, but I remember I wanted to go as Super Saiyan Goku. So, <laughs> so I was gonna, like, I actually made it. I made, like, a cardboard cutout to stick to my back to look like the Super Saiyan thing, and, like, I coloured it in yellow and stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I actually wore it on Halloween, it would have been, like, the worst Goku cosplay you've ever seen. Oh my goodness. But at the time, I thought it was super creative. Like, like, go as actual Super Saiyan Goku, I mean, good idea, not so good doing the idea, what? Okay, that's all the questions that I have to answer, thank you so much if you submitted a question, I really liked these questions, I liked the spooky Q&A, this was really fun, I always say that at the end of my videos, I'm always like, this was super fun to make, yeah, why am I doing so many hand gestures, why do I always do so many hand gestures? Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you liked it, I really hope you liked my answers. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Is that my outro now? I do that so much, I'm just like, bye. Every video.